Coffee on a Tuesday in Vlog 13. Oh, hey, little spider, you're trying to scare me because it's the 13th vlog? <laughs> you can't. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Raising awareness is for pussies. Let me explain. You can see very clearly on this diagram that I just made that there are three different types of race. You can raise awareness, you can raise understanding, or you can raise money. Of those three, clearly one stands out as being for pussies. So to all you fun hipsters out there who grew your mustaches for Movember to raise some awareness for prostate cancer, I say yes, it is better than doing nothing, but you are, nonetheless, still pussies. <coughs> to prove it to you, I'm here at the Comerica Bank Tower in downtown Los Angeles, and I'm about to walk up 50 flights of steps to raise awareness for cystic fibrosis. Look at all these pussies. I'm gonna do one better. Not only am I gonna climb 50 flights of stairs, but I'm gonna raise some understanding in the process. So every 10 flights, I'm gonna explain a little bit more to you about what cystic fibrosis is. Okay, here we go. Shake that. A team murder writer. Yeah. A one man team. Two people. All right, all right. That makes a team. That's good. That's good. Okay, ten. Shit. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, cystic fibrosis is an inherited chronic disease that affects the lungs and the digestive system. An effective gene and its protein product cause the body to produce unusually thick and sticky mucus that clogs the lungs and leads to life-threatening lung infections and obstructs the pancreas which makes enzymes that help the body break down food and absorb nutrients. Currently about 70,000 people in the world have the disease. That's about 1 in 100,000. So maybe you know someone who has it, maybe you don't. I do. He's 22 years old. The median life expectancy of a sufferer of cystic fibrosis is late 30s. 50 years ago, it was about 6 months. Very necessary. Or 20. Water. Already feel the muscle on the muscle burn. Empowering. Sufferers of cystic fibrosis have a mutation on their seventh chromosome on a gene called the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, or CFTR. CFTR causes thick respiratory secretions that are hard to clear from the airways, allowing bacteria to become more easily trapped and causing infection and inflammation in the lungs. Also, in the pancreas, an organ that helps you break down all the fat, protein, carbs, and fat you eat, mucus from the disease blocks these enzymes and prohibits digestion. This means that necessary fat solubles, or vitamins, don't get absorbed into the bloodstream. Okay, 10 flights. Honestly, this is easy. Thank you so much. This is such a necessary, <laughs> such a necessary <laughs> service here. Okay. So, the medicines follow the symptoms. Pancreatic enzymes, vitamins, antibiotics to you know, stop infection, mucus thinners, and bronchodilators to facilitate breathing. Since sufferers of cystic fibrosis digest less, they have to eat more. More calories and more fat. All while maintaining a healthy weight because a healthy body makes for a strong immune system, and in this case, it has to work overtime. Exercise like this is a must. So let's go. <laughs> so easy. <sighs> okay, so how then is their life different from ours. Well, they have to take different medicines all day long. They have to use a nebulizer to inhale special mist medicines directly into their lungs. They have to watch their sugar because diabetes is especially prevalent among the cystic fibrosis community. They're in and out of the hospital. They can't smoke cigarettes or marijuana because they're especially susceptible to fungi and bacteria. They can drink alcohol, but only in moderation, though that might be said for everybody. Ah, oh, should have stretched. Should have stretched. Should have stretched. Ah. Oh. Should have stretched. It's one more This is like a double four. This is it.
let it be known that Justin Soriano, the cameraman, also made it up 50 flights with me. Thank you very much, Jay. <laughs> That's not a trick. Now let me really raise your understanding. Take it away, Evan at home. Thanks, Evan. So, do you remember the CFTR gene? Well, here's what's happening on a molecular level. A gene is like a little instruction manual. It tells amino acids how to shape themselves into proteins. Proteins are these wildly complex shapes like bunches of ribbon that perform various functions in the body. Now the shape is everything. It's a name and a job all in one. It tells everything around what it's there to do. The CFTR protein coming from the CFTR gene sits on the membrane of cells and facilitates the coming and going of sodium chloride or salt. Okay. Good so far. The mutation associated with cystic fibrosis is a faulty instruction. The protein is constructed wrong. And instead of facilitating the passage of salt, it blocks it. And this is what creates the mucus buildup and all the other troubles. Now, there's a drug in development by Vertex Pharmaceuticals called VX77. It's a CFTR potentiator, and it aims to increase the function of those defective CFTR genes by increasing the gating activity or the ability for ions to be transported across the cell membrane. It's currently in phase three of FDA trials and it has had promising results. And it's so far along partly due to the fundraising done by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation or the CFF and we can only hope for the best. But this is why raising understanding is better than raising awareness because you know where your money is going. If you donate to this cause, you're donating to the research and development of gene therapy. Treatments that will attack this disease at its root and potentially cure those affected with cystic fibrosis forever. We all get just one life and then we die and that's the end. All we can hope for is to get 60 or 80 or 100 years of it to do what we love, to spend it with family and friends, to create, to learn, to do whatever we feel is right. Donate and give those with cystic fibrosis the chance of a hundred years. It's why raising money is better than raising understanding. And it's what they all did. And it's what he did. Which I guess makes me the pussy. No! No! You can find information on where to donate in the doobly do. Vlog 13. Shake that.